She's a lovely kisser. After realizing she would have S asterisk X with Myla Kunis, Natalie Portman momentarily questioned her decision during Black Swan. Natalie Portman is the embodiment of beauty and grace. Portman is a multi hyphenate who has produced blockbuster films and performed outstanding work almost in every genre. Her acting abilities are admirable, and they are a testament to her inspiring journey in Hollywood, where she has delivered some of the most critically acclaimed performances. While steadily trying to make a name for herself in the industry, the actress found her cinematic soulmate in director Darren Aronofsky, with whom she collaborated on his 2010 psychological horror directorial Black Swan. The film became a surprise hit, grossing over $329 million at the global box office. Alongside Myla Kunis, Portman portrayed a main ballerina in the film. She did, however, admit in an interview that while she had recommended Kunis for the role of Lily slash Black Swan in Aronofsky's movie, she was unaware that they would need to film a sex scene for it. An actress of the highest caliber, Natalie Portman has effectively managed the spotlight for the past 20 years with some of Hollywood's most talked about productions. She has adequate experience working with A-list celebrities like Myla Kunis, the queen of the romantic comedy. Kunis and Academy Award-winning actress Potman appeared in director Darren Aronofsky's 2010 directorial psychological horror film, Black Swan. Also read, after cheating on his wife with a 25-year-old, Marvel star Natalie Portman's husband is pleading for her pardon. The movie starring two of Hollywood's most successful mega-actors received a positive response from the audience and earned critical acclaim. However, the sexual sequences involving co-stars Kunis and Portman generated quite a stir among the movie's fans. In a candid interview, the Nine of Cups movie actor stated that she proposed Myla Kunis for the character of Lily in Black Swan, but the actress claimed that if she and Kunis weren't friends off-screen, their asterisk X sequences would have been more comfortable. Also read, James Franco regrets his movie with Natalie Portman that made less than $30 million at the box office. That movie sue asterisk, you can't get around that, speaking in length about her role and the intimate scenes with her co-star in the movie, which she had no idea about, Portman told NTV News. It was really crazy because Myla and I were very good friends. Who do you think could play this part? Darren asked me when he posed the question. Who is about the same height, color, and physique? I was like, oh, Mela, Mela, Mela. He met her and clearly flipped over her, and she's incredibly skilled and does a wonderful job in the movie. I didn't really think through the fact that I was going to have to have sex with her in the movie. The actress went on to say that despite being good friends off-screen, it was awkward for the two of them to be in an intimate scene together in the film. She explained, it was quite uncomfortable. It almost seems like doing it with a stranger would be simpler. Having said that, it was fantastic to have a friend there with whom we could joke around and laugh our way through it. Myla Kunis was asked, how was it making out with Natalie? By a fan during an AMA session on Reddit in 2015 dot to which the actress responded, I mean when you have a kissing scene in a film, it's not something you think about as a kissing thing. There are so many crews present, but she gives nice, courteous kisses. Natalie Portman plays Nina Sayers slash White Swan in filmmaker Darren Aronofsky's film Black Swan. Vincent Castle plays Thomas Leroy, Mayla Kunis plays Lily, Barbara Hershey plays Erica Sayers, and Winona Ryder plays Elizabeth. Also read, Natalie Portman is eagerly awaiting an offer from a $10.3 billion franchise because no one has ever asked me to.